Well, moving beyond, beyond the scars. Heather Ford's been uh, with a special bunch of people in Descanso, mm -hmm. enjoying themselves uh, for the last, uh, I guess you were there overnight, so we'll be talking to her. Good morning, Rise and Shine. It looks like breakfast time at Camp Cuyamaca. We are meeting some campers for breakfast pajama time here at Camp Beyond the Scars. That's coming up on the Fox 5 Morning News. Well, last night, our very own Heather Ford stayed the night at Camp Cuyamaca to take part in Camp Beyond the Scars. Let's check in with her right now. Good morning. We're waking up at Camp Beyond the Scars here at Camp Cuyamaca. I stayed the night here, got to meet all of these wonderful campers. They look hungry to you. They look hungry to me, don't they? Well, we, walk, we got them up early. It is pajama breakfast day. Manny, one of our campers here, tell us, what's your favorite part about camp? Um, we, get a, we have our own swimming pool here, and we get a swim. We do archery here. The fun stuff. Awesome. Are you waiting for your breakfast too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a hungry little guy. So we saw some head shaving in the last part. We've got some of our firefighters here who have been, I don't know, doing a, a couple of mohawks, some interesting things. Now, you guys do a lot here at A Camp Beyond the Scars. What is the head shaving all about? You know, they, it just starts a trend. You know, one guy goes, hey, can I have a haircut? And it turns into mohawks, the handprint as you saw, the trihawk, and then it's just like wildfire catches on. It's just a, a way for these little guys to have a good time, huh? Absolutely. No limits here. All right, guys. So next, I want to get over to Jim because, Jim, you're a big part of this, the Burn Institute. This is one of their programs. And, uh, you know, we're taking a look at all these campers here. You guys can wave and say hi to mom and dad at home. They've been here for an entire week. Um, you know, what's this experience like for them? Well, this is a tremendously powerful program, and, you know, when you're a burn survivor, you're a burn survivor for life. So this is something they deal with every day, and so this really is about them getting back in the mainstream, giving them some coping skills, and really helping them get on with their life. But we've got kids who have been coming to camp for 15, 16 years. And they're definitely not camera shy. Um, you know, we've been taking a look at some of them, and, and you can see outward scars, and some of them you can't, but none of them, they, they learn here that that's not important, that what's on the inside side is important, which is so beautiful. What I want to ask you, though, is um, how are some of the ways that these, these kids and campers are injured? Well, people are generally surprised to learn that the key cause, or one of the primary causes of burns, are scald burns. So it allows our kitchen burns, pull-down burns. So it's some very basic, sim uh, simple safety tips, pot handles back, cooking on back burners. But more importantly, just watch your kids. You know, lack of adult supervision usually leads to a burn injury. And then at camp, you know, we're here at breakfast. They're kind of just waking up. I know, I'm glad we got them up this early, to be honest. I mean, it's it's early for these campers. We normally get them up and you do all kinds of sports. Explain what Camp Beyond the Scars is all about. Well, a lot of camp is about building self-esteem. Because a lot of times for these kids, uh, self-esteem is damaged because of their injury. So what they're doing is uh, there's activities, little hobbies, things they can take with them, sports or what have you. It's something they can take with them to kind of build their self-esteem. All right, Jim, it looks like you're getting talked over. So coming up, today's the pajama breakfast. I already got out of my pajamas, so I'm going to have to get back in them to enjoy some good breakfast with you guys. I'm going to have to send it back to you in the studio. They are hungry. If we do this, they feed us too? No. For more information on how you can help the Burn Institute, log on to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and then click on the Scene On tab.